Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I want to share with you a very special episode. This is going to be a 30 minute meal, a segment I'm going to be starting. This is going to be Parmesan crusted Alaskan cod. Very flavorful. Breaks right apart with just a fork as you can see. Uh, falls apart. Falls apart on the plate as you can see. Uh, one of my favorite meals here. Uh, do not go for that piece. Uh, I said do not go for that piece. Sorry about that. Oh, and he's still going for it. This is going to reflect his review, I promise. Anyway, great meal. I find you're going to like this. It's very healthy. It doesn't take long at all to make. I really hope you uh, put this in your rotation. Let's get started. So go ahead and start off with a piece of Alaskan cod, whether it's fresh or frozen. Just make sure it's thawed and rinsed with cold water. Lightly salt and pepper each side. And then go ahead and start your bonding agent. I'm going to use mayonnaise. This mayonnaise was made with olive oil. It's a little healthier. If you want to use a little bit of mustard or ranch dressing or olive oil only, you can. I'm going to put some seasoning in there. Um, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder. You can't see because the uh, angle was not the best as we're learning. Great job on that. Oops. But they're in there. I promise. Just go ahead and mix those together. You can just use a fork, get those all seasonings mixed in, and then just go ahead and paint one side of the fish. And you can put as much on as you want or as little as you want, it's up to you. This is gonna help with the panko crumbs. So we have our panko crumbs in a pan. We're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese and then just mix them around. Go ahead and Pick up your fish and lightly place it in the bowl. Press down on the corners, the middle, just getting that panko crumbs to stick. Once you feel they're good, paint the other side. Again, we didn't paint the side because we didn't want it all over our hands. So now paint the top with your bonding agent and lightly flip your fish over. And again, press down on the corners, kind of move it, shake it around. Get all the panko crumbs as well as the uh, cheese you know, stuck to that fish. Go ahead and turn your oven on to broil and then place this on a nonstick pan with some olive oil under it. I do not have oil, olive oil, but you will. And place this in your oven. Make sure the rack is not at the top. This is at the broil section. Five to seven minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and place some freshly spring greens down mixed up with a little bit of Italian and Parmesan cheese. It's kind of uh, my base. Go ahead and take your fish out of the oven after about five to seven minutes and watch it closely and carefully slide it onto your greens. Be careful, it's very tender at this point and very hot. And then if you'd like to, just go ahead now and sprinkle some shredded Parmesan cheese over the plate for a little bit of effect and that final taste. You can garnish with a lemon if you would like, totally up to you. I really hope everyone enjoyed this meal. It did not take long at all. A very healthy meal, a very light meal, makes you feel full and good all at the same time. Check out in the description below is my blog as well as the link to this recipe. Please go to those and I'm out of music. But with that, I'll say cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it. See you next time.